Sophia here for my great challenge. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know I'm a tea drinker, right? I drink about between six and eight teas per day. All sorts of teas. I start the day with uh, oolong or uh, black tea. Then throughout the day I'll have another black tea or two or three or four. And then in the evening I'll switch to um, herbal teas. So I'm a major tea drinker and um, aficionado so I have a lot of teas in the house if you've been with me for a long time you know how much I love my tea and I always heat up my tea using an electric kettle so for some time I had a Kusari electric kettle and I loved it and eventually it uh, broke uh, what was the deal with it I, it lasted a good five years it was really good um, and then I bought another one and I bought this one from Bright Town and the buttons here, I don't know if you can see, are starting to go away because I use it so much. Lo and behold, the company sends me a new one. So today I am testing out a new tea kettle. This one is from Bydeem and it just so happened that I, just did a, that I did a video, you probably saw already, on the um, reverse osmosis water filtration system from Simpure. So, moving forward, my tea water that I will put in the new kettle will be fully filtered water so that I can enjoy the actual taste of my tea leaves. How about that? I wonder if my tea is going to start tasting different. So, let's open this, let's see what it looks like, rinse it and try it out. If you ever had a um, electric tea kettle, uh, may I suggest that you get one if you are a tea drinker. Or even if you have kids in the house that are, eat a lot of ramen noodles. They are great. They're super fast. I think they're pretty cool looking too. Um, but this one is special. And it's special because it gives you different temperatures depending on the type of tea you are drinking. Because if you know about tea, you know that you cannot use the same water temperature for black tea versus green tea or herbal tea. So it has specific temperature buttons right here. And it also has a strainer or a little um, compartment uh, if you want to make the pot of tea. So it comes with instructions tea maker. I'm excited about this. My Kosori one had two temperature setting. Um, this one has quite a lot. So first you can boil water so that's perfect for ramen noodles. Uh, 205 degree for black or herbal tea. 195 for oolong which is what I have for breakfast. 185 for white tea and 175 for green tea. And here's the kettle. It looks really neat. I love that it's rounded right here. Nice. I'm gonna pull out all of that plastic stuff. You can open this. Pull out the strainer. This is really cool. See now, I like this one compared to the Kasari one because I can remove it um, very easily. The other one was on a, um, what do you call it, like a trolley uh, system and this is very very fine which means that you can do um, a lot of fruits, the seeds won't come out. Like you know if you want to do um, strawberries for instance, if, you wanna, if you're trying to do a uh, infusion and all of the leaves from your tea will not get into your water so that I like this is a micro mesh this is really cool the part right here on top comes out you can pop it like this with the extra mesh in the front and this is a five cup capacity mm. 
If you need something for easy storage, the cord does coil on the underside and has a little notch right here so that way it stays flat on your counter and it's going over here oh I am so excited I'm going to use my filtered water <clears throat> because I want the best tasting tea. Okay. And I filled it up uh, at four cups, 32 ounces of pure filtered water. So this goes on top. You don't have to put this in if you don't want to, but you can also leave it in. Uh, nothing bad will happen if you leave it in there. Close this right here and I'm going to make uh, black tea and for black tea or herbal I press this button right here 205 degrees let's see how long it's going to take We are a minute and 30 seconds in. I'm getting my mariage frère Eros, which is my favorite tea of all time. I deserve a good tea. We're doing four cups. So one, two, three, and four. So it's been three minutes so far. It's 128, four minutes, and it's done. So what I'm gonna do is open this, and I'm gonna drop my basket in there. The advantage of having this big mesh basket is that it gives room for the tea leaves um, to expand. If I want a steeping time, by the way, I can press this button again and it's gonna give me um, the amount of time I need to steep it that's cool because black tea green tea oolong they don't have the same uh, steeping time uh, to set the default steeping time press the same button again once the steeping time is completed the kettle will beep and lights will flash and then the kettle will enter the keep warm mode automatically. It is recommended to remove the tea infusers to avoid oversteeping the tea. That's very true of black tea and um, green tea I find get really bitter if you leave it too long. Steeping time is four minutes. Keep warm for 30 minutes. All right, so the keep warm will be 30 minutes. This is great. And then they give you uh, the Bidene tea maker 20 easy recipes to make with your new biting tea maker so what do they have in there I'm sure they have pomegranate power black tea cold relief hot toddy immune boosting orange cardamom tea oh I love cardamom cardamom chai lavender earl grey Ooh, I have lavender and I have earl grey apple gingerbread tea Thin mint tea. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. This is the first time a tea maker gives me recipes. This is very thoughtful. I like that. And again, you don't want to oversteep it. You want to take that little basket out of the way.
It's the little things, you know. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off. There's a little button on the right that says on off. Um, but it's the little things, all right? So not only did I have the room in that little basket to open up all of my leaves so that I have the full aroma <laughs> of my Eros tea, but on top of that, because it's a black tea, I got the right temperature for it and it makes a huge difference. It smells wonderful. Am I going to taste the difference between my making my tea the regular way, which is using one of those bowls um, or this? Because this has the right temperature. It's the best tea in the world. <laughs> it's, I'm just saying that because this is my favorite tea. Um, it's great. It's the right temperature. It's hot. See, my other one didn't go that high in temperature. I felt that my tea was always getting cold fast. This one is not. This is great. I'm so happy. So now, um, I stopped it so it's not going to continue to heat up. Uh, I could put it back on the 205 if I wanted to. Um, it's going to take a while before it goes down in temperature, so I'm probably going to finish it, the four cups, because this is already two almost. Um, I'm probably going to finish that within the hour, and by the time I'm done with the pot, it's going to be still warm, not super hot. This is too hot right now, which is the perfect temperature for black tea. I'm very happy with this. By Dean, thank you so much for sending this to me. I put the price right here. Um, the best feature is the basket. This is a really, really good basket. And I love the fact that, first of all, it's easy to remove. You don't have to unscrew or, you know, try to fit something into a, um, a big pillar or anything. But because it's so tall, you can put fruits in there. So you can do fruit infusion, you can put pineapple, you can put peaches, you can put all sorts of fruits in there and you have enough room plus your tea leaves. It's easy to remove, it's a micro mesh, there's not a single piece of tea and I'm at the end of that pot, of that container, I don't see a single speck of tea. Usually when you get to the bottom of your uh, T10, you always get like the powder and stuff. I don't see any in there. This is great. So that is a great feature. I love the size and the quality of this infuser. And then the buttons at the bottom for boiling black herbal oolong white or green tea. What a difference. I'm going to enjoy my tea. I hope this is going to last for a very long time. Um, it looks good on the counter, stainless steel, I like it. I'll put the link down below. Um, so far, A+. This is one of my best tea makers. Uh, it's as good as the Kosori one. I actually like it better than the Kosori one. And Kosori was very good, but the Kosori had the basket that you had to screw. Um, and, and it was difficult to place and it was difficult to clean. Uh, but it had, and again, it had the temperature, the different temperatures on the handle. This one, I love that it's on the uh, front plate. This is great. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you, Baidim, for sending this to me. If you guys are interested in getting one of those, I strongly recommend a real tea electric kettle um, for your house rather than the one that you put on the stove. And please do not put your water in the microwave to make a tea. <laughs> You're killing your tea. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, and that would be it. So find me on Instagram and Facebook at My Great Challenge. You can also find channel merch at My Great Challenge Gift on Etsy. Vintage finds on Etsy um, for my little shop, Frenchie and Tubby. And then if you want to see more behind the scene and exclusive content for My Great Challenge, my family, day-to-day -day living, you can check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash challenge. I hope to see you there. And I'm going to go sit down and enjoy the perfect cup of tea. I'll talk to you.
to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.